Welcome to the post show interview of episode 1864 with Christian Finnegan and Cambry Cruz. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's it like to be on shows together since you are married? It is probably the only time where I talk more than she does. <laughs> <laughs> true. That's <laughs> true. Do you get a little more worried because that person is just right there and maybe. Oh, I wish that the person that's on the podcast was the person I was married to. What? <laughs> This should be a great ride home. She's like home. so sweet, and she's so like like uh, you know supportive and complimentary. And Deferential is the word I think you're looking right. for. Yeah, geisha. <laughs> and I just really enjoy hearing about how you get hard ons with other women. Yeah, sitting on your lap. That's fun. Well, Episode you got... 1864. <laughs> now, will you? As I say, you did the show where you cr- critique it a little bit, kind of than I would. We we do other people's shows. We talk about it a little bit. Do you bother? I mean, not in a in an organized sense. I mean, obviously, discussion comes up, and I'm sure we've talked in the past about. I mean, we've done the show two or three times together. I feel uh, like. once during the one the last marathon and uh, this one, and then we did um, him does uh, what's my what's name, my name? marriage yeah. thing, but we were separate recordings. It was all it was women men and then first. All men. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew so. better. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, not. I don't think we really like do a post game. So much, no, but, right. nah. but you know, we do. I'll tell you, like, uh, it, when we do a show, maybe afterwards, and it's not our show, I'll go, You, th- you think I had a point there on you know that subject when I oh, chimed in, or do you think yeah. I just cut them off for no reason? You yeah, know what I mean, every but you guys once are, in a while, I'm sorry, yeah, every once in a while, there'll be like, Oh, I, ne- I never got to finish my thought, oh, I meant to say this, that yeah. kind of stuff, right. but yeah, but it makes more sense that you guys would do that because you are a, a performing team, right? In the right. sense that you know, you're like a uh, one of you one. is Goose and one of you is Maverick. My That's line top is Top Gun reference. We'll, oh. we'll finish and then I'll I'll say uh, his fault, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if if Lauren's in the room, I'll be like, was I funny? Was I fu- where was I funny? <laughs> like a lot of times, right? You think I'm funny, right? <laughs> but that's just annoying. <laughs> Please tell me I'm valid. <laughs> and Lauren, totally. And Lauren says, you give me a couple times and I'll tell you, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you make up a time. There Now Lauren takes notes when listening to anything I've done. Because, oh, that's nice. Because, Very you nice. know, there's there are questions coming after. Yeah, yeah. So just so that there's like a, a fresh memory on it. Right. It's like, oh, yeah, I took these notes. Well, I'll do that sometimes when I see his stand-up. Every now and then, if I get an idea of uh, something that he could do, but that's very rarely. I don't. I don't do it too much. No, I, she. You pick your spots very well. Well, I and say, I usually give know. really good, thoughtful notes when oh, I do give them. Oh shit! Yeah. Your chick rates your shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would oh, say whatever. actually. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> no, no, I would say the notes that Camry gives me are generally more performance oriented. Or, or in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> or very minor punch uh, line notes, like or, or um, yes, anding. His or or, or something like stuff. oh, I didn't really feel like I didn't really get that, or I didn't. Or you swallowed you know. that word, or the way you yeah. say it. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. it's much more the performing aspect of it, and you know you're scowling too much, or you're moving around on stage. Why do you do this weird thing? Where he you does shake? this weird thing with the microphone lately, where he like shakes it. It's just, it's a, like, uh, yeah, uh, make your own you're jerk off joke. Choking your chicken. Is it like you're squeezing the mic too hard? No, because you're not. No, nervous. I do this weird thing where I just kind of like, and I you're I've, fidgety. I've only. It's a tick, but I don't necessarily mind it. It bu- bugs her, but I've noticed it since you brought it up that I, it's just kind of like a, like the same way you might kind of uh, gesture with your hand. Like right. I just kind of do this thing where I just kind of oh. move the mic back and forth. Right. I don't know what that is, but yeah. it would be it would be funny if there's a guy and he keeps trying to like give these acting like things are innuendos and he's trying to up himself, but he just he's you know putting himself down. Like the only time she corrects me is constantly in the bedroom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Because I cannot handle my business as a man. <laughs> it's a little thing called using your fingers, which she'd rather I do all the time. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Keithandthegirl.com. Keithandthegirl.com.